hey, this is Andrew Brown from ExamPro, and we're taking a more in-depth look at the hybrid identity model. So hybrid identity uses accounts that originate in an on-premises of DDS and have a copy in the Azure ID tenant of a Microsoft 365 subscription. Any changes that you make to a DDS user accounts are synchronized to their copy in Azure ID, except for specific account attributes. Azure ID Connect provides the ongoing account synchronization. So this runs on an on-premises server, checks for changes in the DDS, and forwards those changes to Azure ID. Azure ID Connect provides the ability to filter which accounts are synchronized and whether to synchronize a hashed version of user passwords, known as password hash synchronization. Azure ID password hash synchronization is the simplest way to enable authentication for on-premises directory objects in Azure ID. Continuing on with hybrid identity, your on-premises of DDS is the authoritative source for account information when you implement hybrid identity. The Azure ID tenant has a copy of the DDS accounts. Both on-premises and remote users accessing Microsoft 365 cloud services authenticate against Azure AD. So hybrid identity is best for organizations using a DDS or another identity provider. And its greatest benefit is that users can use the same credentials when accessing on-premises or cloud-based resources. So it's very convenient to use. Looking at the visual here, you have your Active Directory domain services accounts, and you have servers running Azure AD Connect to synchronize and copy the accounts to Azure AD. Through this, both on-premises and remote users can access Microsoft 365 to utilize all its apps and cloud services. So that's the hybrid identity model.